Are you ready to relive the past? Well, step right up. We have Atari, PlayStation, Nintendo, Sega. Get ready for a wild ride. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane. That table can only mean one thing. We got something crazy to show you here on memory lane. We're going to be playing the Atari 2600 Junior. And what game to be exact are we playing? Well, let's get the controller first. Let's get it ready. Get a little drum roll. Here we go. Here we go. Here it is. We got box in for the Atari 2600 Junior. Yeah, check that out. Now, boxing on the Atari 2600 Junior. I do remember playing this game before. Um, really cool game. So, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, it's actually a pretty cool game. Uh, I think the first time I actually played this game, there was an Activision Atari package available for Windows 95, where it gave you a series of Activision games, and I played it on that, and it was actually pretty fun. Uh, we're going to be checking out the 2600 version of the game right here and playing it on real hardware. You can see that the, uh, the cartridge and the label... Well, the label actually looks kind of weathered. You can see that it definitely looks like uh, it has like, some stains or something on it. Uh, hopefully no one peed on it. <laughs> you never know. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of dirty. We have a little screenshot or an idea of what the game looks like right there. You have like uh, two characters beating the crap out of each other right there. Look at that. And up here it says conceived and designed by Bob Whitehead uh, for enjoyment on your Atari video game system. What a little trademark right there. You see that trademark? Uh, yeah, this is actually quite the impressive boxing game on the 2600. It's nice and primitive, but fun to play. You got two game modes right here. We got game mode number one, sparing with the Activision computer, one player, or game mode number two, which is uh, basically two players. You have two opponents controlled by humans. And there's nothing really fancy about the label art. Pretty much the same thing with any Activision game. The label art is usually a screenshot of the game itself, and on the uh, demo label. Pretty much the same as what you saw on the front. It looks a little weathered, beat up, stained. I, mean, I don't know exactly what's on this. It's quite, quite old. It looks like it's probably you know, this cartridge is probably close to 40 years old. And you tell that. Seen some better days, but that's a sign that someone probably played the crap out of this. It's probably been played quite a bit. Pretty sure that the pins are okay, so I usually cleaned all my pins, so everything should be good there. So yeah, we're gonna be popping this into the Atari 2600 Junior, and we're gonna be checking out boxing for the 2600. So stay tuned, we're gonna be playing some boxing. So right there on the first try, uh, boxing made by Activision works with no issue at all. Uh, it's one one thing that's noticeable about 2600 games they they hold they hold up quite well i mean i've had some saturn and playstation games that are like quite a bit younger than these 2600 games that don't hold up quite as well because they're on discs but these 2600 games are like 40 years old 35 years old you know they're definitely pretty old and uh they hold up they actually Play quite well and let's check this out so I think there's two game modes on this one player is game mode number one two player is game mode number two and I don't think there's a third game mode or anything like that so we're gonna be checking out game mode number one and we're gonna try to beat the crap out of the uh, computer guy let's, let's check it out all right and uh, right away we have the computer guy trying to punch me in my f oh my god what the hell what get that <laughs> it's very very aggressive you can see he got eight punches out of my nine punches what the hell oh my god it's beating the shit out of me now this is a very primitive uh, boxing game you know long before they had fight night or Knockout King or Punch Out for the NES. 
we had a good old fashioned boxing on the Atari 2600. This is what you basically had right here. You can see the little guys, it's like a top down view. You can see you have one character that's white, the other one's black. And um, you can see the little nose sticking out of their heads right there. You punched your nose in. It's one of those games that are like really, really common. It's not that hard to get, but it's actually pretty fun, especially if you have uh, two players. And right now he's beating the crap out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks painful. The punch sound effects are actually pretty good. I will admit that they're definitely pretty good. Look at that. Oh, what the hell. I actually have more punches than him right now. We're pretty close. I don't know for sure if you can get a knockout or anything like that in the game, but I think there's a time limit. We've got three seconds left, two seconds. And whoever lands the most punches wins. That's probably how you play this game. So, right away, the uh, computer guy was very, very aggressive towards me. His AI was like, I'm going to mm, beat the shit out of you. <laughs> so, that's what happened during the beginning of that round right there. And um, then I had to make a comeback like Rocky. So, let's, let's try it again. Yeah, come here. Punch, punch this guy right here. Uh, I remember playing this on one of those uh, Atari flashback gaming consoles. And also, I, I remember playing this on a... Uh, what the hell was it? There was a, a Windows 95 Activision software. It was a Atari 2600 flashback software. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it had all Activision games on it. And uh, I remember this game in particular, uh, I would play all the time. It was actually pretty fun. And it was literally the same thing as what we have here, but a Windows 95 version of it. And it looks like the computer is beating the crap out of me this time. Oh my god, look at this. I need to make a comeback. Round number two, the, the computer guy is winning. It's definitely uh, not good. Oh, he's, he's destroying me. And it's actually a pretty good boxing game, considering that it's, you know... Probably 40 years old by now. It's not that bad at all. And the graphics are old. It's actually, I'm playing this on real hardware, so it's actually quite impressive. There is actually one wrestling game on the uh, 2600 also. Oh man, I'm catching up. Can I do it? Oh god, no. <laughs> Oh, I almost caught up to him. Man, I was off by like two points. So he won round number two. So let's go on to round number three. Okay, so we're tied. This is it. Whoever wins this round is the winner. And he's already beaten me. It's like double the amount of points almost. Look at this. Now I'm beating him. Oh. This is a slugfest. Or you know, Jim Ross, the slobber knocker. That's what this is right here. And this is, you can definitely hear the controller. I'm, just, I'm using an authentic, real 2600 controller.
trying to beat this guy, and this guy is... I think I might get him this time, so I'm, I'm ahead by a couple of points. Oh, no, we're tied. Oh, no, now he's... He's beating me. Oh, now we're tied again. This is a tough... Competitive match right here. This is crazy. I mean, this is insane. I have to... Oh, no, wait. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, look at this. We're tied. Ten seconds left on the clock. This is so dangerous. Oh, man. What? Holy crap, he beat me. That was a tough match. <laughs> you saw I was really, really into that game. Boxing for the Atari 2600 made by Activision. Uh, I wonder if there's a patch for this game also. It, it probably is. Let's see if we can just display it right here. See exactly what the uh, stipulations are and all that stuff. But there probably is a, a patch that you can earn from Activision if you score a certain amount of points. Or maybe you land a certain amount of punches. Uh, but yeah, Activision, you made a pretty good boxing game. Boxing on the Atari, Atari 2600, that is. No, I definitely enjoyed playing this game. It was definitely uh, pretty fun. I got quite a bit excited playing the game. I got pissed off for a second. But, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, don't forget to give a comment down below. And uh, let me know what your favorite boxing game is. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorites right here. What a great game.